Hey guys, today I'm going to do a step-by-step -step on how to set up the cam and crank sensors in Holly EFI with your external 4 magnet MSD and your, uh, your external um, cam sync from MSD as well. It seems like I've made a few videos on this, but I guess I haven't done start to finish on it and it seems to always bring up the same questions over and over again. So hopefully, by the end of this, Y'all are pros. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up the, uh, the crank sensor. Okay, so we need to pick, what we need to do is be able to pick a reference angle uh, on the engine where this sensor here, this is our crank sensor, okay, is going to line up with a magnet. Okay, so typically I like 60 degrees, uh, anywhere between 50 and 60 is fine. And that's also going to dictate your cam uh, position, right? So your cam sensor position. So the first thing I want to point out is the digital falling and digital rising, okay? So right now the engine is at 60 degrees before top dead center, okay? And if you notice, we're, uh, we're pretty much dead center over top of the, uh, the, the magnet over top of the, um, the sensor, all right? Now... The engine spins this away, okay, clockwise, spinny, spinny. So that means that if this magnet is going to go this way, okay, it's going to go up, all right? So if your bracket and your, and your, and your sensor were over there on the driver's side, it would be going down, all right? But now we're, we're on the passenger side. So as this thing approaches top dead center, this wheel spins this away. And that means that we've got a rising edge, which means if we were to line this sensor up, at 60 degrees here, right, on the pointer, right? If we were to take this sensor and we were to slide this up, we'd be on the rising edge of this magnet. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense. So that means that the rising edge is, is the leading edge, all right? Which means that, the, say, the magnet's coming around, we hit 60 and it hits right here at the, the, the front corner of this magnet, or of this sensor, okay? The falling edge would be on the back corner of the sensor. All right, so I like to set them up on the falling edge. So that's the difference between rising and falling. Rising is the sensor sees nothing, it's hanging out, it's seeing nothing, and then out of nowhere, ding, there's our magnet, and now we see it. That's the rising edge. The falling edge is, hey, we see nothing, hey, we see the sensor, hey, we lost the sensor, okay? So that's the falling edge, right? So it saw, it saw the magnet, the sensor saw the magnet, and then it lost the magnet. That's the falling edge. So I like to set them up on the falling edge, so what you want to do is you want to be able to move this, uh, this, this sensor towards the, towards the bottom of this magnet, okay? So it's kind of off the trailing edge of it. Get it close, and then you're going to shoot it with a timing light and adjust from there. But um, that's the difference between falling edge and rising edge. So once we have this set at 60 degrees before top dead center, uh, we now have to set our cam sink into... 195 degrees so basically it follows it's 135 degrees prior to now you're probably thinking well it's not prior because you went 195 well remember this is before top dead center and the key to this is that there is a thing called the compression stroke and the exhaust stroke in an engine so a lot of you guys seem to screw this up but the compression stroke means it's uh, making compression right and the exhaust stroke means uh, we got exhaust. So the cam spins at half the speed of the crankshaft. So 60 degrees here can be on the compression or the exhaust stroke. So we want to do everything on the compression stroke. If you don't know what the compression stroke is, the easiest way to figure out what the compression stroke is, is take the number one spark plug out, all right, right there. Okay, this is a big block Chevrolet, so number one spark plug up here, all right? And, uh, and turn the engine over, even if you bump the starter or whatever it is, uh, or with a breaker bar, and you'll feel air push out of the spark plug hole. That's compression, okay? Um, if you feel it sucking, that's the exhaust stroke, okay? So, um, they won't really suck, but you know what I mean. You're going to feel your finger push off of there, all right? So that's the compression stroke. So back to the front. We're going to find our compression stroke. Oh, my light's dying. That's all right. 
We're going to find our compression stroke. All right. So right now, if I turn this over, I'm at 60 degrees before top dead center, and I left this on the exhaust stroke intentionally. And it's not pushing on my finger. All right. So that means that once we hit top dead center, we're top dead center right there of the exhaust stroke. Now, as we rotate around, we're going to find 195 degrees before top dead center on the compression stroke because the exhaust stroke then compression stroke. It goes back and forth and back and forth. Okay. So we know we're on the, we were, we're at TDC of the exhaust stroke. So now we're going to come around to 195 before top dead center of the compression stroke. Okay. So I'm a little weak here, so bear with me. And plus this is kind of a hog engine. It's a lot easier if you pull the plugs out of it. So <clears throat> roll it around. As you can see, we're there. We're at 220, 200, and 195. All right. So 195 before top dead center on the compression stroke. All right. So we know if we, we, we realized we were on the exhaust stroke. Now we're on the compression stroke. This is where we want to put our cam sink in. So here's a couple tips on putting the cam sink in. Makes life a little bit easier. So we'll go around the back here. All right, so here's our cam sink. Now, I have the sensor off of it because um, it, this is just the easier way to do it, especially on a Chevrolet, right? Now, what I want you to do is focus right here on this little dot, okay? So that dot is from my marker. Hang on, I'll go get a marker and we'll make it a little darker. All right. So hopefully you can see this. So, you should be able to see that bad light right there. Now, my girlfriend's gonna point the camera right there. Hopefully you can see that, that line I drew. That line, if you look at that line, I'm going to be spinning the engine clockwise, okay, approaching top dead center. And you'll notice that dot moving pretty slow and it's spinning counterclockwise, okay? So if it's spinning counterclockwise, everything we just learned up front, it's backwards of that. All right, so, <clears throat> well, clockwise, if you're, whatever, it's, it's cl clockwise here, sorry, I'm used to small block forward, clockwise here, so it functions the same as this, okay? So if it's spinning clockwise, this line is where the magnet is inside of this body. Come on, there we go. So if you look, <clears throat> there we go, if you look inside of this, you see that blue dot right there? That's, the, that's the, the, the magnet that the sensor's looking for. And what I do is I draw a line up here so I can watch it from the top, all right? So again, falling edge, rising edge. So that sensor clamps over top of this, all right? It sees it and then it doesn't see it. So now we see which direction this is spinning when we're turning it over towards top dead center on the compression stroke and we line them up. So we go to 195 before top dead center on the compression stroke and we, when you drop this in, you'll notice, notice there's my, there's my mark, right? So you gotta line everything up, right? Give her a little jiggle. This is a pain in the ass. If you're an LS guy, you've never done this before. Or probably never did this before. What you want to do, you got to work it until you kind of get it. It's got to hit the oil pump drive shaft and the cam gear. It takes a little finesse, which I'm not very good at lately, apparently. I just had the damn thing. See, I'm not good at everything I do. A 
I'm not actually forcing it, you're just kind of wiggling it around until you feel it land. So you'll notice that the reason it ain't, you see how it's not all the way flush, right? So we know we're not all the way in. Come on, honey. But if you notice, when you're dropping it down, you see that, that dot? The dot's spinning because the, the, the gear is helically cut, so it runs into the cam, and then the cam is actually positioning it. So, <clears throat> all right, we're going to pause for a second until I can get this stupid thing back in here. So don't feel bad when you're fighting this and you feel like, oh, look at that, boom, falls right in, see? So there it is, it's back in. So there's our line, all right? But I've already, I jerked around and I, I ran the engine way past 195, so I'm going to come back around, which is basically two full rotations because remember it spins at half speed we're on the exhaust stroke that's 195 on the exhaust stroke all right which is good so this is 195 on the exhaust stroke you can see my line right there finger banged it a little bit so it's kind of hard to see but there you go we'll, we'll darken her up again so there's 195 on the exhaust stroke all right, I'm going to go 360 degrees on the crankshaft, and that's going to move 180 degrees back there. So, and one of you is calling me right now. I'm not answering it, so. There you go. There's 195. So, now we're... 195 right here so the body of this spun a little bit because it ain't clamped down but what you do is you line up your opening and you'll see that your magnets back here i can get a mirror and show you but it's lined up with that dot and uh clamp it down and you're done so that's the uh that's the rising edge so hopefully that answered some of your questions let me stay right there i'll get the i'll get the sensor to show you Same thing that's going on up front. This is your sensor, right? This goes over top of the window. That's here. And look at that. There's our little, our little mark we made. And then there's the sensor. It's lined up. We clamp it down and we're done. So um, if, you, if you don't like the, uh, the position of it, you can obviously we're at 195. We can pull the cam sink back out, and we can um, readjust it to you know to make the the lead come off wherever the heck we want. And then you can rotate the body of the the cam sink. So hopefully that explains everything from start to finish on the crank and the cam. Um, please stop asking the same question over and over again. And that's Mushu. She is asleep. My girlfriend is obsessed with her, so that's why the video camera panned over her direction. Um, that's all I got. See ya.